We are going to be talking about the grand final this weekend and the way it's going to be played out. Um, I'll start with you first, Tommy. I think everyone's talking about Fremantle's game and sort of their style of play and how it's very defensive, but we saw on the weekend how attacking they are and how lethal they can be. Do you think against a team like Hawthorne this weekend they will go defensive? We might see a bit of the flooding tactics and they might try to choke the game a little bit? Uh, it's, a, it's a really good question and it, and it is a classic case of um, attack versus defence, there's no doubt about it and Frio being the rank one defence, Hawthorne obviously the rank one attack and but to say it as carte blanche as that around Frio's defence is probably doing their attack, uh, not a great uh, service I think since round 15 they're ranked three in attack, saw them go down to Geelong and put on a clinic against Geelong, they were offensive in their first half against the Swans and I, did, I do think that they did put the cue in the rack towards, towards the end so um, they've got the scoring power to, it, to, do a, uh, to do a number on the Hawks and I think the other thing a lot of people probably don't necessarily pick up on is that the first point of attack is defence. So they, they win the ball out of the contest and they just squeeze right up and then rebound the ball back in. So um, for me, watching, watching Fremantle play watching and playing against Ross Lyon sides in the past, um, just extremely well structured, extremely well drilled and they're going to take a hell of... Uh, Hell of a lot to uh, knock them off on Saturday. Leon, you were at Hawthorne last year, so you know the thought processes that, that Clarkson has. Who would he be putting work into this week? The, who, who, who do you think is the most dangerous Fremantle player from a Hawthorne perspective? Yeah, we're talking about this on the way, way in. Uh, I think he'll use uh, Liam Shiel uh, as his run with target on a, a guy like a Stephen Hill, who's an outside runner, and I think he'll throw down the challenge to Brad Saul to beat Nathan Fife. Um, I think uh, I think Sully, you know, his, his record in finals is very, very good. Um, you know, he probably he had a pretty quiet game last week, but I think he'll throw down that challenge to, to take on Nathan Fife and beat him. Soss, let's talk to you. How would Ross Lyon be feeling this week? Soss, you, you are under Ross at St Kilda. Unfortunately, he's played in a couple of grand finals, but hasn't taken home a premiership yet. What, what pressure would Ross, Ross go be? And how does he tackle that kind of pressure, Soss? Yeah, if I, uh, obviously I know Ross reasonably well. I haven't worked with him for three years, though. But uh, just watching his interviews, he seems very relaxed. Mm. Um, you know, I think he, he's been there before now. So um, having that experience behind him, I, I'm sure that he'd like to see his players relax going to, into such an important game. What I do know is that um, his teams are always very well prepared. Yep. Um, he, he continually goes over the basics, making sure you do the basics well. And when, I'm, when, when you mean the basics, you know, it, it's about sticking the tackle, um, making sure you, the, the ground ball, you, you're getting your ground ball, um, you know your structures really well. So they're always a very well drilled team and yep. we see that through Fremantle and he did that at St Kilda. So, um, and then he'll just point to the effort, you know. Um, once, once he knows the team is giving him 100% effort, well, he'll, he can help them through situations because he, then he knows what they're capable of. Yeah. Well, boys, we thank you very, very much. Oh, well, just quickly, uh, who's going to win this weekend? And give us a Norm Smith as well. We'll go through the panel. Tommy, who do you think? I think Freeman to win by a couple of goals. Uh, the Norm Smith medalist will be... Matthew Pavlich. Matthew Pavlich, that'd be a great. Oh, that's a romantic That'd be, that'd be romantic. South Australian boy. Yeah, it's exactly. perfect. Uh, yeah, I think Fremantle. I think uh, Nate Fife will win the North. Nate Fife. Yep, and Leon? No, I think Hawthorne. Hawthorne by a couple of goals and a Grant Birchall on a halfback flank. Grant Birchall. Well, there, Birchall. Yep. Thank you very much, boys. Tom Harley, Stephen Silvani and Leon Cameron, put your hands together. <laughs> thank you very that's much, lads. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Thanks